Palmer Health officials are tracking down what led to their recent rise in coronavirus cases through contact tracing. Welcome to Western Mass News at 4, everyone. On this Tuesday, I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagalenzer. The tracing comes after infants in the town tested positive for COVID-19. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo spoke with Palmer's health supervisor. She joins us live with more. Audrey? So in bigger cities and towns, contact tracing efforts tend to reveal some hot spots. For example, in Springfield, health officials there have said they've seen many different houses on the same street have coronavirus cases. However, in Palmer, their health officials say that through their contact tracing and data, they haven't found any one particular hotspot, leading them to believe that people are traveling to other communities, contracting the virus and then bringing it back home. Like most places in Massachusetts and across the country, Palmer is seeing an increase in COVID-19 cases. The town of more than 12,000 people currently has 57 active COVID-19 cases, 21 of which were reported over the weekend. The town's health supervisor tells Western Mass News that through contact tracing, she hasn't found any hot spots in Palmer itself. It's more or less our residents are going to other communities through work, um, shopping, what have you, private gatherings, and then coming back um, and testing positive later on. Most of the town's cases are asymptomatic, according to Christina Florence, and the ones that do present symptoms are very mild. But the more jarring news from Palmer's totals, the fact that three infants under the age of one tested positive. It really hasn't affected children that young in this area. Florence says that's not the norm. With the exception of those couple of infants that we have, a majority of our cases are people that are 25 and older. To read that, that is very scary. Phil D'Alessio lives in Palmer, and he tells Western Mass News he was shocked to learn that babies got sick with COVID-19. The concern for D'Alessio goes further than fear of the virus. Before the pandemic, he taught anatomy and physiology at Springfield Technical Community College. I'm fortunate to teach in the pre-health for the nurses and physical therapists, etc., and uh, I miss my girls. I really do. He says the last class of students he taught are now in the thick of the coronavirus fight. Some of them are young mothers, have young children, and uh, it's very frightful for them uh, to be out there. And they're, they're on the front lines and they're really scared of the second wave that's coming and they're taking a beating. Now, the town manager of Palmer said in a statement that this is the highest number of coronavirus cases recorded so far this year, including back in March. Reporting live, I'm Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.